Hello, my name is Dr. Charlie Johnson. I am a physical therapist and the owner here at PTNJ. Uh, and PTNJ is a uh, an outpatient orthopedic uh, physical therapy clinic located in southeastern Pennsylvania, so Royersford, uh, PA to be exact. Um, and we really pride ourselves in helping people, um, perhaps just like you, get back to normal naturally, right? Um, and you know, I understand that. Uh, if you're visiting this web page, uh, you have many options, right? So there are many different people who can help you do that. Um, and I want to share a little bit with you about um, how we operate, what our treatment approach looks like, um, and sort of how we're different, such that, you know, at the end of this video, uh, if you choose to watch the, the entirety of it, um, you have an idea of whether or not we're a good fit to help you get back to normal, all right? So, um, you know, if you've landed uh, and, and are watching this video and or you're on our clinic website, first things first, um, welcome. Take a look around, I'll more specifically guide you here in a moment, um, but you're likely here for one of several reasons. Uh, the most common reason is that people have been to their primary care physician, they have some pain, uh, ache, or injury, uh, and they've been told to go to physical therapy. Um, and so what they do is they go, they search physical therapy near me, and you may have selected the one with the highest reviews, and you are now here to see if we are the ones to uh, work together and help you out. Um, the second reason is that people start to Google or uh, you know, do an internet search of their pain or their problems to look for solutions, right? So maybe you search back pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, whatever it is. Um, maybe one of my, uh, you know, my content videos popped up with some information about it and it directed you to my website and you're here to learn more. The final thing is maybe you're ready to pull the trigger. Somebody said, hey, uh, check out Dr. Charlie's website. I think he can help you. So you're here doing more research um, and want to see if we indeed are the ones um, you know, to get you back to normal. So um, the other thing is that many people I help um, have tried many different types of treatment. So been to the primary care physician, maybe a specialist, um, chiropractic, massage, other PTs, and they're skeptical, right? Because now they have a lot of information about what could be going on. They have a lot of different opinions. And, um, you know, if this is you, you may just feel confused, lost, um, and have a lot of questions about what's going on, right? So, uh, and, and you just maybe haven't gotten the relief that you're looking for. So again, if that's you, I want to ease your mind, um, continue watching the video and see if we're a good fit, all right? So um, with that being said, at PTNJ, the unique difference between um, what we do compared to most healthcare providers um, is I would say we really set ourselves apart because we are heavily focused on patient uh, results. All right, so that is our number one priority, um, and I'm going to share with you the four-step proven, uh, proven treatment model for how we do that. All right, so here it is. So when we begin treatment, we need to we need to extensively listen to what's going on. Right, so we need to fully hear your story. This is not something can be done in five minutes or even ten minutes. We truly need to hear what's going on, um, and we need to not only understand the problem. But we need to figure out how we can unload the problem, meaning uh, an analogy I use is how can we put out the fire and how can we silence or kill the angry birds? And I'll tell you about that in a minute. But the idea is this, right? So um, consider that we all live in a fishbowl, all right? And this fishbowl is called life. So what we have to understand, right, is that... Um, you know, you don't just live in a bubble. You, you know, you work, you, uh, you know, we have work involved, we have financial stresses, we have just family life, we have hobbies you like to do, right? There are all these things that are probably influencing how we're feeling, not to mention all the things we're told about what's going on, right? So um, what we see is that most people, right, and most places that you go, they treat you. So they're treating the fish, right? Ah, the fin's not working, you're out of alignment, uh, you know, you have knots, whatever it is, right? So they pull you out, you walk into their office, and they're just focused for that 5, 10, you know, 30 minutes, whatever, on treating you, all right? So here you are, right? But then what happens is you get your back cracked, you get a massage, something like that, and you feel pretty good. The issue is that it's usually very temporary, all right? Um, and if you've been going back to see the same person for routine um, adjustments or massage or whatever for the for the same problems for years, um, then you know this effect, all right? So it's a feel-good effect. It's not usually a long-term result. And what happens then is that you feel great walking out of the office, but then you jump in your car and you flop right back into the fishbowl of life. So you got some seaweed back here, right? It's, it's messy, right? So PT or whatever type of treatment 
that's done to you is only a small part of the equation when it comes to healing. Because again, you got work, you have sleep quality, you have you know your diet, you have all these different things right that add up to um, giving you that full complete uh, recovery process, right? So, um, and, and by the way, um, part of unloading is not only to put out the fire and kill the angry birds, again, I'll, more on that in a second, but um, it's to sort of clear the fog as far as what you've been told about your condition. So understand that um, when you're going somewhere for treatment, right, understand that everybody is wearing their own goggles, meaning they're all wearing their own lenses and they're all trained to see certain things. Therefore, um, you know, depending on where you go, you can expect a certain type of diagnosis or a certain type of treatment. For example, you go to see a traditional chiropractor, and when you go there, they will be taking x-rays, looking for bony, uh, you know, structural problems, subluxations, whatever you want to call it, um, and therefore your treatment is, your diagnosis is that you're out of a line, right, and therefore your treatment is that you get adjustments. If you go to see a massage therapist, they will poke around, feel around, right, and find uh, knots or trigger points, right? And because of that, your diagnosis is that you're tight or something like that, and then you get massage, right? Because that's what they know how to do. So understand that if, uh, as you're going around to see different people for um, treatment, understand that if the only tool they have is a hammer, everything is a nail, right? So don't be surprised that you know, when you go to see the surgeon, they recommend medications, injections, or surgery because that's what they do, right? Or when you go to a PT, they tell you that your one leg is longer than the other um, and that you are weak, all right? Because that's just what happens. So, um, you know, my question to you would be, what if you could find someone who could step back, see the big picture, see the forest for the trees, right? And uh, truly design a unique program for you. So that's what we do, and that's how we get the results um, you know that you're looking for and that we're hoping for all right so the first step though is to unload erase some of that mental fog that's been provided to you uh, and that input that's you know told you that you have this problem and you'll never be able to do x y and z um, that you're out of alignment that your rib is out of place that you have knots everywhere so let's just clear that all right because the truth of it is almost none of that is likely true all right um, so like I said though we have to uh, first chat with you and determine specifically about what you're dealing with. Well, what makes this thing feel better? What makes it feel worse? What started it, right? How is your sleep? Where do you sleep? Where do you sit, right? And, and all these different variables really have to break this problem down. Um, and by doing that, right, and by having you a part of that process, you learn to take back control of your issue. So, right, the issue a lot of times with um, these types of treatment where you go to someone they do something to you and then you leave and you go back to life is that it's very passive meaning um, it breeds dependence right meaning that if you have a problem um, at any other point you have to always just keep going back to that person because they're the ones who can crack you or put you back in place or give you a massage or whatever it may be the idea is that we empower you to take care of yourself and take back control of your pain or your problems so that you can treat yourself all right um, all right, so yeah, so we need to know, well, what started the fire to begin with? So what caused your injury? What do you think? Uh, can you pinpoint anything um, as to why this fire or this injury or inflammation or pain um, is sort of continuing to uh, be a problem, right? So uh, how do you put out fire? You put water on the fire. So that means that we need to sit down with you um, and very specifically figure out what we have to tweak, what we have to change, and or modify, right? Not temp or not forever, just temporarily. Another way to do that is that you can kill the angry birds. So what makes you feel worse and what makes you feel better? The problem when people are in pain is often this. They have many things that make them feel worse and they have very few things that make them feel better. And it's not because that's actually the truth, it's just because they really haven't hammered it down and sat down and been coached through what that looks like, right? So we need to uncover that and then we need to get rid of the angry birds, all the things that make you feel worse, and balance the equation uh, to prepare you for natural healing. All right? So that's how we unload it. We put out the fire. Uh, we kill the angry birds, right? Get you on the path to healing. And we re-educate you about um, the truth behind what's going on. Uh, and we break down any barriers that you've been having as far as what you've been told is going on. And we completely clear those uh, things up, all right? So that's the first thing, unload. The next step of the process is we reset things all right and the way we do that often is through hands-on 
techniques, all right? This could be um, hands-on techniques is a broad uh, description of what we call like manual therapy. So uh, anytime I put my hands on someone, well, that's a, a hands-on technique. It could look like uh, a, uh, a manipulation or a hands-on technique to get the joints to move better. It could be, you know, massage or soft tissue, whatever it may be. Um, these are hands-on techniques that do um, two things, basically. Most people think that when they get their back cracked or their neck cracked or they get some type of massage that they're, um, you know, being put back into alignment, that bones are being put back in place um, and or that, uh, you know, their fascia or scar tissue or the knots are uh, being, uh, you know, taken away, all right? And the truth of it is, is that um, we, we don't know that, right? In fact, we have evidence to show that the body is more resilient than that and that actually none of those things really occur. They're mostly assumptions and theories. Um, we actually have evidence to show that those things actually don't happen. So what actually happens with hands-on techniques, whatever that may be, and wherever you've been, right, is that they do um, one of two or both things. So first things first, they decrease pain. So they actually impact your brain in that they calm down the... the the fire, they put water on the fire such that you can move and feel better. So they actually um, cause the brain to uh, kind of quiet down the pain centers, all right? So less pain. Two, they increase function. What we see is that after you get a hands-on technique done, your muscles might actually um, fire better or work better afterwards. So your ability to move with less discomfort is improved. Right, and you know this effect because after you go to see the chiropractor or get a massage or go to a PT and they do different things, right? You feel good afterwards. Um, you know, 24, 48 hours, and it's like, man, it's kind of back to the way it was, right? So it's a temporary um, effect. It allows us a window of opportunity to get you to move and feel better because that's what it does: decreases pain, improves improves function, right? So that's how we reset. We're not putting anything back in line. We're not. Um, you know, uh, getting rid of trigger points or getting rid of knots, anything like that. We're literally just using hands-on techniques to um, impact the brain such that it feels uh, less pain, senses less pain, um, and uh, improves your ability to move. Okay, so we're calming the alarm system down. Helps us with unloading whatever is painful, all right? Now, this is where most people um, in the rehab process and most healthcare providers sort of miss the boat, is that they don't reinforce it. What do we mean by this? This is traditionally exercise. Now, this isn't just any old exercise. This is very specific exercise to your very specific problem, all right? So what happens is when you go and we do these hands-on techniques, now you can move better. But then if you just leave, you go back to life and you don't do anything about it, then often you'll reset, right? And things will just go back to the way they were and you'll have to keep coming back for Ever, all right and that's not the goal so these exercises look very much like and replicate um, what we do in the clinic so if I do a hands-on technique to you I want you to be able to treat yourself at home doing something that looks or feels similar or accomplishes something similar such that you know as soon as you start to notice some discomfort again you can do it and you can just continue to take the medicine so understand that we will use movement as medicine um, such that you can take it frequently as you would any other pill all right so it's specific though because what we see is that um, you only have as a person or as a human so much energy right and what we see uh, a lot of times when people come to me is that they're trying so many different things because they're looking for help and searching for answers so let's just say this is a, a ball of energy let's call it the Sun okay and for whatever reason, this sun has four rays, okay? Um, and you're going to, maybe you're seeing the chiropractor, you're trying yoga, um, you know, you went to your primary care physician, maybe you tried other PT, and then within the PT, they gave you a whole um, sheet of, you know, 10 exercises that you could do at home, and so on and so forth. So you can imagine that, you know, if we take each of these rays, and this equals energy, so you have four rays here, and let's just say they're an inch long. Like, you're, you're not getting very far in determining what can actually help you because um, your, your energy is so dispersed, right? So none of these things can be fully effective because you're just worn so thin, right? So now what if we could take that and just really focus it, 
right? So rather than having like a real broad shower of, of uh, or stream of water, like a, the shower setting on the hose, right? Where it's just kind of slowly just um, shooting out in many different holes and directions. Um, we want to take like a, a pressure washer effect, right? Um, so what I mean by that is four inches here. What if you could just go one way in four, uh, four inches in one way, right? Laser focused, a very solid stream to go deep. Um, to determine what the effect of that specific treatment is, right? Could be PT, could be whatever. The problem is, is that people start putting too many rocks in the water, throwing too many rocks in, uh, in the water such that uh, it creates a mess and you can't actually tell what's working. So people get lost within their own treatment, all right? So the idea is, um, if you've been trying many things, we need to boil it down to only the, you know, one, two, or three things that are going to be most effective for you and then what we need to see is, okay, are things sane, better, or worse? So if they're sane, then we can tweak it. If they're better, then we're good to go. And if they're worse, we either need to reevaluate or we need to do the opposite, right? And then we need to see the impact of that. So again, you can, you can imagine this is now a very, like, very much like we're troubleshooting and we're creating a relationship to try to find the best solution for you, all right? So um, very specific. Uh, laser focused treatment uh, and exercise to uh, that reinforces what we've done not only education wise but then uh, now that we've got you moving better all right now the final stage here is that we need to reload meaning so now you can do all these things right we need to get you back to life whatever that is if your goal is you want to get back to running you want to go back to weightlifting uh, you just want to be able to go up and down the stairs, whatever it is, all right, we need to reload it. So now we've educated you on what's going on. We've got you moving better. Now you know what to do at home, right? So uh, now it's like, well, here's what happens. People go to PT, people go somewhere, and they don't quite reach their goals. They feel a little better, right? But um, when it comes back to lifting heavy weight or going for the jog again or whatever, uh, going back to work, they just haven't quite been tested to that level. So you know, if your level is here before the injury, we want to make sure that not only do you match that, but then maybe you exceed it such that you feel completely confident going back to the things that you love to do and reloading the tissue, putting full load on it, full confidence through it, um, such that you are back to normal. All right. So this is the uh, four step proven treatment model that we utilize to help you get back to normal, unload it, reset, reinforce, and then reload, which is basically getting you back to life. Um, so if you watch this video, um, you're maybe thinking a few things, but if you say, hey, this is a fit for me, um, I like the philosophy, then I, obviously you can give us a direct call and we can answer uh, any questions you may have. 484-552-3767 um, is, is our direct number. Uh, the other thing that you could do is, you know, if you're still skeptical and want to look around and you have a specific problem, you can scroll down and just download one of our free reports. So we have different reports on back pain, neck pain, um, you know, knee, shoulder problems, things like that. I've also written a copy um, or written a, a book, itty bitty book about lower back pain. Um, and you could call in and we could have that sent to you um, free of charge as well. So you can download any of those reports, read through them, uh, see if they're valuable um, and do that. The last thing you could do is you just have some final questions. You're not ready to give us a call yet. Um, you could ask a specialist. So uh, you could scroll to the bottom of this page. There's a form that says, ask a specialist provide just some basic information so we know who we're communicating with, um, and then ask us uh, whatever question. Share your story, and we are happy to provide you uh, with the guidance. So again, um, our goal here at pt and J is that we want to get you results, and uh, you know we do that through a four-step proven treatment model, um, and if you've watched this video and you say, hey, again, this is a good fit, give us a call, download one of the free reports, or ask us specific questions. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, welcome to the page, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.